Days with Jordan the Lion vlog starting at you right now. Between the two things you've seen already, do you have a hint where we're going today? You should. We got the coffee kicking. We are ready to rock. We're not going to the Grand Old Opry today, unfortunately, but we are going to have... We most definitely cannot go out today on our journeys without these. On to the, uh, I'm going to take the metro today, the train. And uh, we're going to go do a handful of the uh, locations from They Live by John Carpenter. Starring my pal, Roddy Roddy Piper. And when I say my pal, Roddy Roddy Piper, I literally was fortunate enough to get to know him, talk to him, hang out with him, and consider him a friend. A um, handful of years ago, I was uh, doing a, I was an extra in a um, U2 music video that they were releasing at the Super Bowl. And we, it was a two day call, and uh, both these were like 14 hour days, and at the end of the second day, I was just wiped out. Something told me to go to the comedy store that night. I went and it was completely dead. I mean, it was pretty much like, not pretty much. There were literally two people in the audience when I walked in. Matt Edgar was on stage and I sat down in the back and there was somebody in the front and then there was one guy right in front of me. So he was the second to the last row. Matt Edgar said something and I kind of heckled him friendly because we're friends and the guy right in front of me started laughing and Matt said, Man, even you're against me, Roddy? And I realized it was Roddy Roddy Piper and I went up and tapped him on the shoulder. And he looked up and he said, you're funny. I said, sir, I've wanted to meet you my whole life. Can I please get a picture with you before you leave? And he said, give me a minute and we'll go have some time together. So about five minutes later, he came outside and we talked and he took off his leather jacket that he had had forever and put it on me and said, there you go. That's been in numerous WrestleManias. So we're gonna go do the, uh, we're gonna go see the alley where the fight was. The legendary fight scene. You know the funny story about that is that the fight scene was only supposed to be 20 seconds long. And they rehearsed it, Roddy and Keith David rehearsed it so much for three weeks that they just ended up keeping all five minutes and 20 seconds. It's really iconic. So we're gonna go to that alley we're going to go to the uh, front of the bank and then we're going to go to where the city hall square was where he sees the preacher talking now we're not going to go to the um like the homeless park where he ends up living with all the homeless people and where the church is because the church isn't there and uh the park area has completely been redone you wouldn't even recognize it and it's in completely the opposite direction of where everything that I'm going to go to today is. So I just figured if it were somewhat recognizable other than just the buildings being behind it, then that might be one thing. But it just from Google Earth, it just didn't look like it was really that big of, big of a thrill. So and I really have a lot of stuff that I'm going to hit today. I'm working a lot tomorrow. I'm going to be working in Ojai, so I don't know what kind of vlog I'm going to be able to do. So I'm actually going to film a second vlog worth of stuff while I'm down here and uh, that'll probably be attached to tomorrow's and that'll be what you guys get for tomorrow because I'm not missing a day but uh, I think you'll like what we do today regardless uh, of all the locations and there's a place down here that I've wanted to eat and they actually are so popular that they run out of food during the day so you have to get there by a certain time and I'm gonna be in that area so may or may not try it it's called Howlin Ray's and, uh, but other than that, there's also my other favorite restaurant. It's called uh, The Little Jewel of New Orleans. And he's down there, but it's kind of expensive, so I probably won't go. So, next stop, probably the fight scene. All right, well, we're at our first location. You may not recognize it because of the way it looks right here, but this, right here, this gate and everything, this is where the fight scene is between Roddy Piper and the two police officers. They confront him right here, and he gets into the fight with them right here. And I'll try and put a screen capture of all the places that I'm taking you guys today.
You can see the sign in the background and everything matches up with the way it is now. Now we're coming up on two shots from the film. One of the shots is Roddy walking out from right here where the uh, Los Angeles Athletic Club is. He comes walking out and he walks this way towards me. And in the movie, that's where he ends up finding the alley with the sunglasses in the box and he gets into the fight. But in reality, that's not where that is. In reality, you just keep walking. And right here, this building's across from it. Right here, on Mercury Center, is where the major fight scene happened. Okay, I'm gonna outline. This is the five and a half minute fight scene that is, uh, it's widely considered and it was voted by AFI as the number one fight scene of all time in cinematic history. Now you know we're in the right spot here because of a couple of things. Right here is actually right where the, where the fight took place. You can see this fencing area right here is in the fight. And so is this grater. And then where the trash can is, that he would have, they would have been fighting up against this right here. Now you can match it up because of this building right here in the background. That's how I was able to see it. And then, so the whole fight would have taken place right here. And right about a little past where that, this truck is right up here, is where the dump truck is, or where the dump truck would have been when they filmed it for Roddy to jump in to retrieve the box of sunglasses. Now, the sunglasses are in the movie what made you see that the people weren't actually people in the town, they were brainwashed zombie type people. And right about here is where that dumpster or that trash truck would have been but yeah it all took place right here and I'm sorry that the uh, I'm having a real tough time getting the shadows but this is right here this is where the whole thing took place the most iconic fight in film history and if you've never seen it immediately go to YouTube right now and go watch it type in they live fight it'll but you type in they live and it'll pop up probably the first thing but like I said, right here is where that dumpster would have been. Pretty cool. Let's get a long shot of just a little bit of everything. It's a closed off alley. But yeah, this is where it was. Go match it up yourself. Have fun. Downtown, you're trying to find it yourself driving around. Look for this, the Theater Jewelry Center sign. Clearly don't know that we have a water crisis out here in Los Angeles. But the pigeons are enjoying it. One last opposite shot of the alley before we go. So now we're back walking past the athletic club, which he does in the movie. He walks this direction. But we're gonna go ahead and make a right because in, much like in most movies, most of the uh, film locations in this whole movie are kind of within a block of each other. So we're gonna go around the corner and then up over here. Pretty much right here, in front of the other athletic club sign, is where the newsstand was that he puts the sunglasses on, looks at the newspaper, and sees the uh, sees the zombies in there as well. And I'll go right down here just a little bit and I'll flip around so you guys can see an opposing view to match it up if you want to. Because it would have been right around here. Right underneath the athletics club sign so you can see it again. Now, 
if the newsstand was right here, if you turn around and you look straight up, right there is where the Obey billboard was in the movie. This is actually where Shepard Ferry got the idea for Obey and used it for his company name. Here, it's unfortunate they covered up the original sign, the place went out of business, uh, but this is where the No Independent Thought sign was hanging. To be a tailor business that had a sign that was exactly like the same shape as the No Independent Thought sign. This isn't part of the film location, but I don't know what this is. This is, they've set this up on the, in a parking space downtown for some reason. And no reason not to show the electrical uh, box bandit some love just because we're doing a Roddy Piper vlog. Well, there it is. Imagine Piper walking in right there. Now you can tell that that's it. And I'll match up a shot of Roddy walking in because you can tell, look at those doors. The handles on the doors are exactly the same. That's where he walks in and says his iconic line, I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Now the story that Roddy himself told me was that, that, that he made up that line that was not in the script and how he said it happened was they had had a long filming day and they said, Roddy, we got one more take and then we can send everybody to lunch. If you don't nail it, we're going to have to pay him extra. He said, just say something that sounds cool. And uh, Roddy said that that was the first thing that popped into his mind. It was something he had planned to use for wrestling. So this is the way he would have walked in. This is the camera shot anyway. Right where it says the reserve above it would have been the entrance. Right here. That would have been the entrance. Now let's see if we can see anything on the inside. Looks like we're inside of a room. Wonder if there's a way to see anything beyond that. Uh, I did bring the selfie stick, so let's try. See how high it'll go. Yep, there it is. There's the iconic bank key. There it is. I just went inside the uh, building next door that's kind of like right beside this to see if there was a way to see in from there and they, they didn't have anything. Uh, now I'm going to take a long walk to get to the city hall section where he sees the preacher. Um, where he sees the preacher giving his speech and uh, he first takes heed. And an interesting thing about that is right directly where he walks in to enter the scene, I filmed a movie there last year. Um, it was a French movie called Les Two Chase Two. And it was kind of like Beverly Hillbillies from France. And they, of course, you know, come to the US and they're, they've invented some kind of cure for something. And I'm heavily featured on there. In fact, that scene, you definitely cannot miss me. I'm, I'm the whole focus of the scene. I've never seen the movie, but there's no way they were cutting out that scene for sure. So that's our next stop. It's gonna be a long walk, but I'm doing it for you guys what this place is all about but I definitely dig their logo really hope you guys are enjoying this this is like one of those places I've always wanted to go to all these locations I've never ever done it so this is not like it's uh, my second or third time this is my first time we're all doing it together for you Roddy in memory of they live very cool they painted a little mural on their glass to Vin. nice we basically have to keep walking until uh, well, until where you can't see this anymore, and that's our next location. Isn't downtown just lovely? I'm kidding. A cool mural engraved into the side of the building I thought I'd share with you guys. You guys know I love architecture and things like this, I gotta add this. Well, I'm at our next location and they have it all like kind of guarded off for some sort of private event. And I'm going to see if I can get in anyway, and at least film the angles that I need. We'll see. One of the security guard ladies who was guarding this fortress told me if I came this way, I should be able to get what I want this, in this area. 
All right, well, it seems to have worked. I got kind of in where I need to be. And this month, I, was we I thought that was weird because it's City Hall. Why would they close off City Hall? Um, but this might be even better. Maybe I can set up my tripod. This time, I never do this, but I actually brought my tripod and my selfie stick. So maybe I can set up, uh... <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Um, I didn't enter the direction I thought I was gonna enter. Um, like I didn't walk down to where the actual entrance that Piper comes in is. And I could have very easily just walked in that way. They have that, that door wide open. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the filming locations now. So right here is where, uh, or Nada, which is played by Roddy Piper, he walks in and he sees the preacher giving his big speech to the crowd of people here. Comes walking in right here. They actually have it locked off so people can't come in, but he actually comes walking in down there by where those porta potties are. And right there is the fountain from the movie. What's the rule on this? I don't know if it's considered trespassing if you ask somebody and they tell you it's okay. Not only did the security guard tell me I could walk over through here, but then there was a lady down here setting up and I just asked her if I could just film this real quick and she's like, oh yeah, that's cool. So technically I am trespassing, I think, because they didn't want people over here, but I got two people to okay it, and I'm out. That is They Live. I just thought I'd end the vlog by sharing my uh, my copy of They Live that Roddy signed for me. No bubble gum. And, uh, yeah, my marker was running out a little bit at the end. But he also signed this for me. Because I loved him as a wrestler. And in WrestleMania 2, he had an infamous boxing match. Mr. T! So he went ahead and he signed that glove for me, Hall of Fame of 05. How awesome. And I also wanted to share this stuff too. I went to Roddy's memorial. Um, they had a special memorial for him at the, the comedy store. And I was invited and uh, I had already bought his soda in the original run when they had that one from They Live. And they came out with a more updated one. This was the, uh, that was the little ribbon we all wore. There was my pass to get in to his memorial. And here was Roddy's memorial pamphlet. In case anybody ever, ever wanted to see what it was. God bless you, Roddy. You are one of the best I've ever met. Vlog over. They live.